notes on it. Great. Hello, everybody. Yes. Uh, you made the uh, Facebook post, right? Yeah. Mm. So, how are you guys doing? This is a nice Sunday. Yeah. Can you add the uh, Twitch link to the Facebook? Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> okay. Um, great. All right. I guess I can start going over work. Yes. Right now. I will go ahead and share my screen. Switch camera. So my eyes are going really big over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. We got the juice here. Whose piece is this? This is uh, Anton. Anton. Yeah. I can ping him in the Discord. Okay. So, um,. I will jump into this. <clears throat> so with this um, design, pitter-patter, my little pitter-patter of my hands on my keyboard. <clears throat> so with this design, I um, I pulled up a, a, a couple of things and I don't, th I obviously don't think that, um, like maybe, maybe this person was inspired by them or maybe they simply, you know, just made this up like on their own. Um, I would say that this design is actually really, really similar to the necromorphs from dead space. And if, if you're going to, um, basically try to get work from something like this. If I was an art director, I would basically, so I wrote, if I was an art director and I saw this, the first thing that would spring to my mind would probably be how similar it looks to Dead Space, uh, which the Necroforce, Necromorphs from that project are very, very iconic. Like Dead Space is an extremely famous game. So um, I'd say to be safe, probably spend some time redesigning these creatures you have to be a little bit more unique and taking them in a different direction. So this actually happens a lot when people are building their portfolios. I would say that um, everybody can hear me in the uh, in the uh, Twitch, right? Everybody can hear me? Well, <clears throat> um, I would say that this design is pretty pretty similar so where was I? I um this actually happens a lot so people will be designing for their portfolio and all of a sudden they'll realize that their design looks just like something that has already been put into a project and it, it sucks because sometimes you literally put like 20, 30 hours into a design in a piece and then you're like, wait, this looks just like something else because, you know, there's so many projects out there nowadays that look that look similar. And your job is to create new content for, for a, a client. When they hire you, they're basically like, we need new designs. We need original stuff. You know, you sign contracts that say, this is original. I didn't steal it from anywhere. And if you did steal it from somewhere when you're on a project, then you will be fired and probably blacklisted, at least at that studio. Um, some studios are, are nice and they don't tell anybody else, but I, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't count on that. So, and, and I don't think you stole this design. I mean, obviously I think this is an original design, but it's just very similar to this. So there's a couple exceptions to this of, of, of either fan art 
or designs that are very similar. And I would say this, either you actually worked on the project and like, it's funny because a lot of people who work on the project and they, they, they'll like, sometimes they'll make fan art just like on their own, like after the project, you know, like I, I saw a uh, Jama Jirai above making some fantastic beasts, fan art that looked very similar to the movie because he's actually the one who designed it for the movie and then secondly if you're doing a redesign and you make it even better than the original you can get away with it so some people actually get hired at the studio that made the project because they their fan art is even better than the original original artwork for it Uh, but i actually don't think that either of these are the case with this one and i would say um maybe try to focus on something something unique with this like i I would say definitely take this maybe further away um maybe focus on the 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 teeth and the jaws because i don't think that dead space really had that i think they focus more on like a more like a rotting carcass look that's like the bones are used as like spears and stuff so I'm I'm thinking almost like if you really focused on on this aspect of the teeth and maybe incorporated that thinking in other places and then like the the splitting the splitting apart idea could be interesting and yeah like basically that's my that's my advice on this piece um a, a funny story is I actually had a had a buddy who was going to apply to his studio so he was building a couple portfolio pieces and everything and he actually had a piece that looks just like like dead space too and i'm just like that kind of looks like this from dead space and he's like wait what and i send it to him and he's like oh you're right he completely scrapped the drawing and made a new one like he completely changed the entire design to make it much more unique and he actually got hired there at the end um and I don't, I'm not sure if he would have gotten hired if he had if he had kept it the way it was. But I mean, our job as a concept artist is to create original stuff. So I mean, it like nobody likes to hear that what they've designed was already kind of made. But it happens a lot, and it's going to be happening more and more. You know, as as more designs are made. So, but in case you want um, some advice on this specific design that you made. I also did some of that, and I would say say these things. Um, graphically, I, I would say that the uh, the design of this creature is not broken up enough. You'll notice that on these creatures, there's really dark areas and really light areas, like like all this in here, versus like the the paleness of the skin and everything. Um, also the, the poses are really important, you know, it, the, the, on dead space, it, it looks like it's really creepy and like hobbling towards you kind of, and like this grotesque thing, but in yours, it kind of feels like it's just a normal dude standing. Like, you know, you could almost be like, oh, he's kind of just casually standing there like, Hey, what's up guys? So, um, what else do they say? Um, the pose. It looks creepy, but it doesn't look all that dangerous. Um, I, I'm not sure how dangerous this is supposed to be. I assume it's supposed to be pretty pretty dangerous. But you'll notice again that that on Dead Space they they gave him it these sharp objects because these are very dangerous creatures. You know these these spears and spikes and stuff. Right now it feels like if this guy tried to attack you, he'd kind of just grab you or touch you or something and or you can just run away from it yeah it doesn't look you know it's it it, like how do do i explain it like in the necromorph specifically you know like this one it feels like you it feels like it's slow but dangerous like it has a big reach it has long arms but then by the way it's posed you're just like this thing's obviously slow you know and in the and in the game it can lunge but it's not fast it can't run very fast i don't believe and is his or her pose really implies that so you know i would say with yours you can say a lot more 
through your design by just giving it that extra kind of just selling thing. As far as your colors and your lighting, I mean, it's not that bad. I would probably put a little bit more focus on, on the focal point. I'm not sure exactly um, where in this area it it is or, or if there's any kind of like face or area that you're like looking at like like look at this this one for example right like there's a lot of interesting things going on that that hold the attention like draping cloths and these kind of like fingers coming out and stuff so i would say maybe focus maybe double down on i i kind of i do like this idea right here maybe double down on that um, I'm not sure what this blue kind of magical or st like steam or something is. Uh, maybe show more of what that is because that's kind of interesting. That could be a unique twist, you know, like maybe this thing is possessed by a, by a, I don't know, a ghost or something. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's about it for this critique. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'll really paint over that much um i i because i don't think that's the thing that's that's the um that's the biggest aspect of it um you got anything to say about this burn or do you want to go to yours or? um well for me it's um it's kind of cool that uh that you mentioned that well i would say you should just study like animal body languages mm -hmm. especially primates or any monkeys or you know those also check out uh, contortionists or any performance artists or any crazy dance moves maybe. Mm -hmm. And then try to apply that to your design and maybe take some idea from those movements. And it'll probably give you like an idea like, oh, this guy maybe, I don't know, like he can, if, if the guy jumps around on one leg, he can probably use the other leg like a knife or something. I don't know. You know, mm -hmm. you can, you can actually go with that since uh, Colt mentioned about body language and poses. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's like at least uh, going with really white color is really iconic, at least in my view. And you can definitely put like single, very saturated color of body part. Maybe the edge of the claw is more red or yeah. maybe their skull is kind of bluish. You know, it can, you, you need to put something that can add interest points like when you look at the element you can immediately see that uh red part in the middle just in the middle of the body like colton is doing mm. and then you can look right there you know and then yeah maybe you attack maybe you, right here yeah maybe maybe you can design the more red it gets the more angry it is you know kind of like a game like gameplay mechanic mm -hmm. or like uh cues of uh what do you how do you call this colton like uh like a it's like if it's red, stop. If it's green, go. Kind of, you know. Yeah, like, these 